Hi. It doesn't really take a lot to make a phone, right? Broadly, you need a processor, its motherboard, a chassis and a screen. When it comes to cars, you need an engine with its gearbox, a chassis and a steering. Now, we all know that by having a big screen and a powerful processor at the back of a phone chassis, it makes for a great phone. But what happens when you take a big engine and a powerful one and put it at the back of a car chassis? If you're lucky, ladies and gentlemen, you get a Lamborghini Gallardo. And because of the fact that the world has stopped making it and because of an irrational fear of mine that it would now go extinct and never be seen, last month, last month I did something even more stupid. Last month, I bought this car. On my way up to stay up, I got more victims to call. All these targets on my back, you better quick in your draw. On this episode of the GT Journeys, along with our presenting partner, Real Me, we bring you a car so good and so beautiful that it got worshipped on walls as the quintessential dream car. I'm gonna make you fade out. You gonna run it out of fire. If you wanna take photos in bright, sunlight, photos that turn out to be so good that they become posters. We well, can trust the real me and GT Neo 2 here to do the job. 64 megapixel AI triple camera that takes timeless photos that you can frame. The engine glass cover thus comes up so that you can see 520 horses all crammed into this tiny little space. A state-of-the-art 5-liter V10 engine. Much like, you know, how they cram 3.2 gigahertz all the way in this small, slim body. Snapdragon 870 5G processor. If this were a car, Realme would call it a supercar. And thus, the 72 degree even firing disconnected crank pin, sweet sounding 5 liter V10 engine that Lamborghini made with extreme passion and obsession is behind my head. And every time I'll fire it up, in my mouth will be my heart. After six long beeps, there will be a complete different seventh beep. And it is after the seventh beep that God will allow you to turn the key here. And it is after the seventh beep that God will watch his creation come to life. Now of course, uh, you can't instantly take off in the Gallardo as soon as you have started it. And that's because, uh, well, instant gratification is a thing of modern day and modern day cars. And this is not a modern day car. That's why it's beautiful. So you have to wait until the engine amasses heat. But if I find myself too bored uh, while waiting for the car to heat up, well then, one of my favorite pastimes is to just step out and take a wallpaper paint. All right. And once you know that the temperature gauge is pointing to 90 degrees Celsius here, you can pull the handbrake down, shift the car into first gear like any other normal modern car, and then... <laughs> Lamborghini Gallardo, pre-LP Gallardo here, but it does a 0 to 100 in about, I would reckon, 4.25, 4.3 seconds. Whether that's a fast enough acceleration figure for you or not, remember the Lamborghini here, it's not just about top speed or wide acceleration. It's all about how it gets there, even if it means getting to just 100 kmph, because you see the big 5 liter V10 here is naturally aspirated, which means completely unadulterated by any turbos. So that means as the rev climbs, the needle rises in the car. It sounds great at every RPM. It sounds different at every 100k interval on the tachometer. And that is of course until you have entirely wound the car up to 8,000 RPM, which is when you shift. Oh! <laughs> that pause when the world was created. 
The very big bang itself. Magneti Marelli's F1 transmission, which is essentially a robotic arm rendition of a single clutch operation. It's not the fastest in the world, but it's the most entertaining and dramatic shift you will ever come across. The result is a head rush that acts like a Moorish drug. You're addicted even if you try it once, and the problem is you can't stop wanting it. There could have been a lot of cars that we could have featured on the GT journeys here today. But then for the final episode of it, it had to be a special one. Something that you can't really find in any of the showrooms today. When I bought this Lamborghini, I also bought along with it a complete new interior from a scrapped Gallardo Superleggera in the UK. This one was a barn find for it was simply sitting for three and a half years in sweltering Indian heat. So the plastics had melted like gelato while the rats had feasted on its Italian leather. The all Alcantara Superleggera interior meant everything including the doors were now carbon fiber. The car shed 50 kilos weight and to remind its occupants of the car and its humble beginnings, I left one red bite on its steering as is. It almost seems like yesterday since I put up the poster of a Lamborghini Gallardo up on my wall and stared at it. Instead of doing my homework. folks so i can't believe this is the end of well gt journeys this episode i hope there are more episodes but what is more in store is of course the fact that you can win a realme gt neo 2 phone by answering the question what would you do if you had a plp or a gallardo for a day well not this one of course the real one i'll see you in the comment section below the best answer takes this away see you very soon